Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our St. John Paul II School Mass. The Mass this morning is prepared by the sixth graders, the second graders, and the kindergartners. Please stand as we begin with our opening song, which is number 308. I want to walk as a child of the light. Number 308. <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I had greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who will your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the wary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right, if anyone wishes to oppose me. Let us appear together. 
Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast, outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, Lord. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my first thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See you, lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory One of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver. And from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born than Judas his betrayer said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So it's good to be able to walk again without help of any crutches or a scooter. However, it's still hard to remain standing, so that's why I'm sitting down. My brothers and sisters, we enter into this beautiful Holy Week. And I was, as I was thinking, okay, what should I tell you today? I remember something. And I, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever been in a talent show or in a kind of presentation in front of people in which you need to perform a song, in which you need to dance, or you need to recite a po poem or something like that? If you've been in those situations, something that is important to be able to know what to do and to do it well is to practice. And one of the best ways to practice is just to repeat the same thing over and over and over again till it actually comes out naturally. That's the basic principle also that athletes use for sports. You know, who likes basketball here? All right. So to get good at basketball, the more you shoot, the more muscle memory you build, the easier it becomes, right? The easier it becomes to do it. Unless you are me and no matter how hard you practice in basketball, you never get it right. So, if that is important for us to be able to know how to act in these particular situations, the same applies to the spiritual life. The Mother Church, every single year, wants us to practice our muscle memory as we enter Holy Week. Because Holy Week is basically a training session for us to know how to act when suffering and difficulties arise. Right? Because that's what we do during Holy Week. All right, let me ask you this question, little children. Have you heard of the Easter Triduum? What is the Easter Triduum? Aiden? And good? Good Friday. So that's the Easter Triduum. What is that actually, if we think about it? That's our training session because during those three days, what we actually do is. We join Jesus at the Last Supper, right? On Holy Thursday, we celebrate the great gift of the Eucharist and the priesthood. They go together. They cannot be separate. So on Holy Thursday, we all gather. We all have meal with Jesus. And then as the Holy Thursday Mass ends, we move with Jesus into the Garden of, of Olives. And that's represented... You're going to see on Holy Thursday a little procession that moves from the main church to the altar of reposition, or in this case, to the Adoration Chapel, right, to pray with Jesus in the garden. Look at this. We ate a meal with Jesus, then we go to the garden to pray with him as he did with his disciples. And why are we praying? To get ready for the difficulty of the cross. And where are we going to celebrate that? Good Friday. You remember what happens on Good Friday? Have you ever been to one of those liturgies? Lola, what happens on Good Friday that is different from other masses? We kiss the cross. We venerate the cross. A reminder that no matter how hard things get, we cannot abandon the cross. We need to venerate the cross. We need to embrace our Lord Jesus Christ in his suffering because that is going to happen to us at some moment in life. More than once, actually. Right? 
So we venerate the cross on Good Friday. And then what happens on Holy Saturday that we call the Easter Vigil? Many of you are younger, so I don't know if you've ever been in one of those. Those usually happen at 8.30 p.m., even in some places even later than that. What we're doing that is after the cross, after the suffering, we await for the resurrection. Like the disciples did. Remember the first women that ran into the tomb, they were waiting the whole night. So that at first light, they would run to the tomb to find Jesus and to witness the resurrection. So, every year, the Lord wants us to repeat all of this to accompany Him so that we might not fail like the first disciples did. Because, remember what happened to the disciples after they captured Jesus? Did they stay with Him or not? Briggs, what do you think? Did the disciples stay with Jesus during the cross? Or not? Yes? You say yes? Who say no? Gabby? No? No, right? They abandoned him. The only one that stood next to him was Our Lady and St. John. So, so that we might not do the same in cases of suffering, of difficulty, of struggle. Every year we go to the same training session. Every year we go to the same movements. So that when we face similar moments, we might know what to do. And instead of despairing, like Judas, we will be like St. Peter. That even though he failed Jesus by denying him, he awaited the resurrection. And that brought hope and a new life to him. So that is what we're going to do during this Holy Week. That's why I invite you to be there at each one of these liturgies. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil. You know, I think the younger you participate in those liturgies, the more you learn to appreciate them. And don't, don't allow your parents to tell you, you're too young for that. No. I was very little also when I was there. Sometimes I fell asleep. That's fine. We're weak, right? But you are there still with Jesus. And he knows that if you're trying, that's a lot. So be with him. And parents, don't be afraid of bringing your children to the liturgy. I don't get upset if they fall asleep. I don't get upset if they cry. That's fine. That's being humans. But they need to be there because this is a training session. This is a training session. Right? To imitate our Lord and to follow Him through the cross, to the resurrection. That's why on Sunday, what we do on Sunday? Emerson, what do we do on Sunday? Are we still sad on Easter Sunday? No! We rejoice. And we rejoice so much that we're going to celebrate that day for eight days. Eight days are Sundays. So eight days, you can eat dessert. Because it's a solemnity. Don't tell that your parents. You just hear from all, another priest, not from me. You can eat ice cream all those days if you want. Because you are celebrating. You are rejoicing. After we went fasting for 40 days, now we rejoice for 50 days of Easter and 8 days of the solemnity of Easter Sunday. My brothers and sisters, my dear children, let us prepare ourselves for this training session so that we might learn how to follow our Lord through His passion, death, and resurrection.
In this time of the Lord's Passion, when Christ offered prayers and supplications to his Father with loud cries and tears, let us humbly beseech God that in answer to his Son's reverent submission, he may in mercy hear our prayers also. For all members of the church, may the Lord help us die to ourselves and to seek first the good of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, may God look over us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For who, for all who are sick, may the Christ who suffered in His own life fill them with healing and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the people who are being received in the church as new members, may they be filled with joy and the knowledge of God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they come to share in the full benefits of Christ's glorious, glorious resurrection. Let us praise the Lord. Lord, hear our For the Gogli Earth family for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For the prayers that we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us continue praying for souls in purgatory, especially for those that have passed away recently. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Be present, O Lord, to your people at prayer, so that while they do not have the confidence or presumption to ask, they may obtain by the merits of your Son's passion, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Blessed Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, you will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, but the praise and glory of His name, for our good and all souls. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings may hear and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in misery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one choir of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church has spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him at wit can all him him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
The, our communion song is number 209. You are always with me. Number 209. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl of all the wars, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus. 
Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Saint Joseph, Protector of the Church, Saint John Paul II. Come, Holy Spirit, and renew the face of the earth. Come, Holy Spirit, and renew the face of the earth. Come, Holy Spirit, and renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a quick reminder that uh, today we have, uh, you have the last opportunity to get to confession before Easter Sunday. Uh, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. here, Holy Spirit, we're going to have four priests here in confessions, and we'll have adoration and praise and worship music during that time. To, it's a great moment to, to come to confession and also to prepare for our training session during this Easter Triduum. And also, uh, don't forget that on Holy Thursday, in both parishes, after our 7 p.m. Mass, we will have adoration till midnight. Another great opportunity to spend some time in prayer with the Lord and invite families, especially, maybe come together and it's a beautiful moment of silence and to unite our hearts to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. During Lent, we will exit the church in silence.